Students in Baldwin County walk to school today more than normal. Almost 500 students in South Baldwin County showed up for their walk to school. As WKRG News 5's Whitney Leibold reports, that's because school leaders in Gulf Shores are putting a greater focus on physical fitness. A morning full of cheers, laughs, and a lot of smiles as students with Gulf Shore City Schools took part in the International Walk to School Day. Staff, parents, and even pets were invited to join students as they walked to school, reminding them of the importance of maintaining one's health and physical fitness. You know, one of the core values of Gulf Shore City Schools is that we develop self-reliance by incorporating the students' physical, mental, emotional, and social well-being into the learning environment. Administrators with Gulf Shore City Schools are finding new and diverse ways to promote the well-being of staff and students. One of our core values, of, you know, health and fitness, and so we have a, a committee who's been working. That committee's been working for over a year, so we're working on, you know, eating healthy and exercise. And so it's not only our kids, but it's our staff as well. And today was a day about involving the community. Last year, the school system built a state-of-the-art bicycle barn, offering students at Gulf Shores Elementary School a chance to ride a bike to some of their classes. We have we incorporate biking through the backcountry trail into our science environment. Lots of things go on, but we really believe in, in the physical well-being of a child. Aside from International Walk to School Day, Gulf Shores City Schools is focused on the mental and physical health of their students, which means incorporating more physical activity into their curriculum. In Gulf Shores, Whitney Leibel, WKRG News 5.